I've got to ask you something, and you could consider it a stupid question, but do you check your meters, your electric and gas meter? Do you physically go up to them once a month or whatever it happens to be, take a reading, keep an eye on what's going on? Because if you don't, and I know there probably are people out there that don't, you're handing an awful lot of power to the gas and electricity companies because all they'll do is just estimate your bill and send you something really shocking in the post like this guy I'm about to tell you about. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. I uh, really appreciate your support as always. If you haven't done so, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button on the video. And of course, share the content if you find it useful. And I always look forward to your comments. Well, I guess there'll be a few comments on this one. There's been an awful lot of, well, incompetence is what I would call it with regard to the conduct of energy suppliers. Either the meters don't work, they're not quite right, or there's some problem at the call centers and the staff don't know how to do their job. The net result is chaos, stress, and a lot of it's unneeded. Well, there's a guy, a uh, pensioner, uh, but, uh, well, an army veteran, no less, lives in a little flat on his own. And uh, he was quite surprised at the level of bill that he got in the post from Eon, his uh, supplier, 45 grand. Yes, a little bit of miss there. Let me show you some of the details and you'll see what I mean. Uh, pensioner stunned after receiving £45,000 electricity bill for his one bedroom flat. Disgusting, huh? I used to live in a one bedroom flat years ago. And there's no way it should be 45 grand. Paul Lamb from uh, County Durham says things got out of control when he had a meter fitted. Now, it doesn't specifically say uh, what kind of meter, but I, I can uh, very well guess. The 70-year-old was told his sheltered accommodation was using a kilowatt of uh, uh, per hour of electric every five minutes, despite an average UK home using seven and a half a day. He complained to Eon a number of times and his reading continued to show abnormally high usage. His worst fears were realised when he opened the letter to be met with a bill for £45,000. And as I already said, he's an ex-military man, a veteran. They don't deserve this. Uh, Eon have since apologised to the customer following his complaints, but he said it should never have got that far. Uh, Mr. Lamb was left on the edge by the demand and was forced to get in touch with the ombudsman to get to the bottom of it. Crazy amount. I'm a pensioner, could never afford it. And it took a year for someone to come out and replace the 40 metre from the point where there was a problem. A whole year. Why did it take a year? And how many calls and how many letters and how many demands were there? before he actually got somewhere. He did the right thing, going to the ombudsman, and I hope it was done immediately to get it sorted. There's too much of this goes on, and it quite simply shouldn't happen. Has it happened to you? Or do you know someone else it's happened to? Let me know. Let's uh, see what's going on out there, particularly as it's getting colder. We can't be doing the stuff like this, can we? Anyway, I'm off. Thank you very much again. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.